today's video or next week next month we don't know what's coming out neither do you so uh anyway here's a man's dream i don't know what kind of dream he has at night but this is what it is he built this car out of his brain so anyway here we have eric all right this is eric how you doing all right so this is your creation yeah it was a spur of the moment thing spur when did you start working on it five months ago five months ago it is now september 24th 20 started, started early april early april so uh what is this thing i mean well a coach i suppose you could call it a monster coach but it's just a coach a coach all right yeah so uh start at the front and work our way back well um almost everything here is sheet metal these are sheet metal i got some fiberglass i started with uh the frame this uh, two by four tubular frame they were 24 feet long and i used every inch of it uh, mono leaf suspension both front and back disc brakes all the way around power disc brakes and it does have power steering uh, i'm working on the headlights yet just haven't found the right container for those but i want a square box headlight uh, i got hoosier tires for it um, the back ones are in back order for the last six months so uh, that ever happens it's just a standard 350 you got some chrome on it some uh, zoomy headers on there and uh, it's really nothing it does have a thumper cam but it's all just for looks the front cowl I made out of fiberglass um, not perfect but it is strong and I just love the, the split windshield um, the top here actually retracts and uh, it's all open just like but in there I do have little windows that fold out and snap down so it's all encased um, you know sheet metal doors and, and uh, finished interior here not everything's probably done complete but um, you know that's where it's at today got a little work to do there um, fuse panel power brakes um, it's got a 350 turbo hydromatic transmission and uh, the lights they light up so you want to go turn those on um, got little dots in here you can turn on and then these change colors to white or orange amber which is kind of cool and then uh, we get into the, the midsection here um, gonna put something up in the up behind the front seats there but uh, of course work in progress yet this is where we got in the four months and then you get to the back you know uh, get a, a seat in the back and this whole apparatus comes up and latches down uh, so it's waterproof I don't know about watertight and then uh, all this is sheet metal sheet metal this piece here is fiberglass that turned out pretty good you just got a standard nine inch uh, Ford rear axle and again it has a monoleaf in there I thought that was pretty cool the monoleaf out the back and again the disc brakes and uh, it's got a 32 gallon fuel cell in it and the old uh, the old roadster style tail lights I actually got Hoosier rubber for the back but you know they haven't showed up so if they ever do they're uh, 20 some inches wide 15 inch wide rims to match so what color paint is this rear end? Well, that's that's a custom paint. It's got a lot of metallic flake in it, obviously. It's just a standard gold uh, with two different types of flake in there. And during the day, in the bright sunlight, it actually doesn't show up real good. But towards dusk and this time of day, it actually starts to pop some color out, which looks pretty cool. So what ever brought you to build a coach? You know, everybody builds a well, 32 Ford. You know, I got plenty of projects here I should be working on. I've got a, a 65 Buick Riviera Grand Sport, and it runs and had it in my wedding. 
I painted that car 25, 30 years ago. I should be working on that. And uh, my 56 Ford F100, which uh, blew up when I was going to kindergarten one day. It's been in the family for over 40 years. Uh, I should be working on that. And I've got, uh, I don't know, 2033 wheelers that I just love playing with. Should have been doing that. But this was different. So why would you do something normal? Yeah. Why would you do something that you already exist when you can... Yeah, so I, you know, I guess it was a precursor. Build it from scratch, from the ground up. I had to make dang near every nut and bolt in it. But now I'm ready to get back into something real. And this is just fun. It was something fun for the family. I feel the community needed it. I mean, it's, <laughs> there's no fun community cars, you know. There's some hot rods. and There's actually a pretty cool 56 running around. But, you know, nothing off the wall like this so it just had to be done it was a it was a mission from god and it had to be done and there it is well it looks all right eric uh, and i must confess uh, i didn't know it was going to turn out quite this nice i i like it it's not complete but it's getting there it is all right yeah, and then you've, uh, you're you going to make step boards for the doors yet, right? Yeah, right now I'm working on uh, doing a foundry casting out of what's called Nordic Gold. It's copper, tin, uh, aluminum, but it looks gold. It has a gold finish to it, and it doesn't grow real well. It, it stays shiny. But I'd like to get a step plate made for the three doors, or something's got to be done. It looks unfinished. So that's actually currently what I'm working on. That's a process. I've uh, done some casting and pouring of metal, but uh, I'm having a little trouble getting this mold cracked. So once we get that perfected, we'll make those and get those on. And that might be it for this year. Maybe a sound system. But uh, it's September. I'm hoping to get paperwork and everything done so we can roll her in, in October for Halloween and have some fun there, and that'll be this year on it. Yeah. What's the wheelbase on this thing? Well, center to center wheelbase, right at exactly 200 inches. 200 inches. The original monster coach in the show, TV show, is like 150. I have no idea. 153. So it could be. So it is bigger. Could be. I know there's a good two feet sticking out in front of the front axle, <coughs> and uh, I don't know, not much in the tail end. They want it, but yeah, she's a big long. Yeah. Oh, I, coach. I appreciate your change of perspective you know everybody wants to build an original exact but yeah you got to build something that's a little bit of you this thing's full five feet or five feet wide 60 inches wide just like a normal car i didn't want to be scrunched in there side yeah. by side it's comfortable it was made to be comfortable it's actually dimensioned off of our cadillac escalade now where the seat is the height the steering wheel position the pedal positions so it was meant to be fun enjoyable drivable and not scrunched hot rod style. Yeah, I agree. So where did you get the shift knob? You know, that looks like something for a cane. Oh, that's odd, because it is. <laughs> <laughs> well then, I guess I'm correct. I made a welded up, a welded and tapped a, a mount for the cane head and uh, there it is. I like it. I couldn't find anything cooler, but we'll still work on that. Maybe there's something better. Yeah. So who uh, who sewed up the interior for you? Yeah. So I I did all every every little bit on here. I uh, went through two sewing machines. Um, went with the Singer Heavy Duty, and the last one I've only had to repair it I think twice. A lot <laughs> of sewing, a lot yeah. of thread. Uh, not my forte, but you know we got the job done, and it serves a purpose. I didn't want to make it perfect. I want to spend 10 years building this. I wanted to get it together and enjoy it and have fun with it. And I think with all its imperfections, it's still what it's supposed to be. And for what I want, it'll be plenty fun. Yeah, no doubt. Tell you what, it looks pretty cool. You know, even, even this windshield frame, you get those, I think they're 43 inches wide. This had to be 60 inches wide for the five foot frame. So I had to cut this beautiful chrome frame that cost $500. And I had to improvise and make reinforcements in between there to keep all together. And the glass shop had me over there six, eight times so they knew how I wanted the glass cut and set in. 
Um, but that was really about the only thing I hired out. You helped me with the heads, ground the cylinder heads. Um, but I had a little help cutting the glass and the cylinder heads. But I think that was the only thing I really farmed out. Otherwise, I got fingerprints on everything. No doubt. Well, I hope you uh, continue on finishing this project. Enjoy it. Don't let no trees grow up in it in the grove. And well, keep on trucking. All the trees I've had to cut are the ones growing through your project. <laughs> yeah, this is true. <laughs> well, thank you very much for your interview. <laughs>